Hello everyone and welcome to Nine Inch Charge and welcome to episode 3 of my Wood Elves project. Today we're going to have a look at movement trays. So I've rebased my unit of Wildwood Rangers using the basing techniques and stuff that I bought that you would have seen in episode 2. And now they're ready to be put together and assembled and of course they need a movement tray. Now I bought these movement trays from Tiny Worlds. Their movement trays cost around £5 each but what's really great about them is they do them in all kinds of shapes and sizes. And I wanted a bit of an unorthodox size because a front rank is normally 5 but I wanted 21 men in the unit 7x3. And luckily they make them in that size. They're made of resin and they're textured all across the top of the rim here. Uh, which is a nice addition because it means you don't necessarily have to use texture paint. You can just paint straight onto them. Um, they're one solid piece of resin. They're smooth on the outsides. The only thing about them is um, because they're one solid piece, there's no space for magnets or anything. So for storage, I think later on when I come to magnetize, I am going to mag have to drill into the bottom to put my magnets on. But anyway, I've painted them up and I've put some tufts on them. And here are two that I have made earlier. So I've got my 7x9 and then I've also got a 5x5 five 10-man five, skirmish unit. Um, and I've painted the insides black, but it hasn't quite come out as I wanted, so I probably have to go back. But to be honest, I'm probably going to fill that with some kind of magnetic tape anyway. So now I'm ready to put my units in. So I've got my unit filler and I've got my Wildwood Rangers. So we'll be able to see what these units are going to look like on the tabletop. And here's a couple pictures that I took of the Wildwood Ranger unit. And I'm really pleased with how they come out. I'm really pleased with how the movement trays look. I think all the tufts and everything just tie everything together. They do, for me, look like they're coming out of a woodland area. So, yeah, as I said, just please as punch, really. And there's another angle. If anyone is at all interested in how I did the detailing on the banner, um, I used a Micron pen. And if you have a look back in the channel, there's a tutorial on how to do, sort of how to cheat with freehand using a Micron pen. And that will tell you how I did that. Now I have also been working on a couple other units. I have been doing a bit of painting. I've been doing these on the Hobby Hangout streams and I have made a male spell weaver that I got off eBay. He didn't have the horns, so I put in some bits from Dryads, a bit of branches coming out there. And he is pretty much all contrast. So at the bottom is a thematic blue. In the middle, there's a bit of Hex Wraith Flame. And then I did use Orc Flesh towards the top. But then I went in and I painted over that with some Calibite green and then just added in, you know, the details here and there. I was really pleased with how he came out, to be honest. He was a really quick job. Um, but, you know, with contrast with a bit of highlighting, I think it still works wonders. And then I had this branch witch kicking around from a start collecting Sylvaneth box I had under the hobby desk. And I thought I'd paint them up to be a branch wraith in the army. And this, again, is nearly all contrast using all the different browns that I've got from Wildwood to Snakebite Leather to Skeleton Horde and just having a bit of a mix of a, and a gradient going through the model and then all the blues are athematic blue and then going back into the green parts there that you can see around the face um, with Hex Wraith Flame. Now I am thinking of doing a tutorial for how I did this effect when I come to Dryads because I can do my Dryads the same way and actually I felt that it was a really quick and easy way to get to get dried stunt quickly and there's some nice wet blends going on in there so look out for a tutorial for that coming up probably in the fairly distant future I would say in the medium term because at the moment on my hobby desk I have got another spell weaver I've got 10 eternal guards and I've got 20 weight watchers so that's going to be next up I think. And I just want to shout out again the hobby hangouts that we've been doing on the channel. Usually they're scheduled, but I'm doing some impromptu ones as well. If you want to paint along whilst I'm working on this Wood Elf project and join me and hang out and have a chat, make sure you check those out. There will be a schedule going up for next month any day now. But the best way really, if you want to get involved and you're free at the time they go live, is to make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and you click the bell icon. Because that way when we go live, you'll get a notification and you can come and join in straight away. Just before I head off, please make sure you've dropped this video a like if you've enjoyed it. If you want to see more content like this and you enjoy Warhammer Fantasy Battles armies being assembled or you like Wood Elves and you want to see a bit more, make sure you're subscribed to the channel because I'm going to take this army all the way through to uh, definitely above 2,000 points, possibly 3,000. This has been Nine Inch Charge. Thank you very much for watching and I will catch you next time.